Hello and welcome to round two of XCWC. It's been an absolutely fantastic week, a fantastic map. Before we get into that though, we had a little bit of a community controversy that we won't be going into too much here. And we owe a demo review to last week's special one. So, I forgot to make a graphic for it, but 45.68, your true 20th place. So just to remind you what, such a long time ago, because we are now a whole map away, you know, sometimes when I come into these map reviews, you've been playing an evening of the newest map, and you forget what the old one looks like once you come into the map review. Like, it's terrible. So, it just to remind you, if you were missing this map, potentially, it's a nice start. It's a pretty crispy start. Yeah, non-slick user. Kind of expected as much. Was hoping. Twentieth place runner is special one. Currently in top twenty position. Something that confused me for this round. So, yeah, fantastic run. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let's go over to that thing that confused me. Over to here, open up the times. So that thing that confused me, that's the wrong file. Because I'm an idiot. Uh, it's in here somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> what was it called again? That's the one. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully there's nothing dirty in my downloads folder. Shit. We've done that on a different screen. No, no, it's just a picture of pastry. Okay, so. This is this week's. Uh, I don't know what I just did. The overall. Uh, still in 20th place is special one in the overall. Which confused me. Uh, 25th on this map. Yeah, there's your whole list. Round two. We're going to see all these people, because I've got the demos, I've got the numbers, I've got everything. Frosty is apparently enjoying the sauna. I think that's going to end up a bit like um, Olaf in Frozen, but there we go. 222 players, which is the most for a second round and the third highest ever. I believe the only ones that have beaten it is the first round of this year and the first round of last year. Pretty good rail time. There's been some big gaps forming because this was a weapon, well, slick for half of it, weapon for the end map, as we will see as we go through these. We have got the, uh, these are the CP times, so I should be able to decipher some of these. Put that over there. And we are going to start out with, go back to here. We are going to be starting out with static, with a time of 49.91. There we go. Hey, there we go. Everything's working. So this time is 115th overall but it is the african uh african continental best time so it'll be interesting to see what what strategies is kind of outside the top 100 using because for the most part these seem to be the same strategies that i was using up in 35th i think i was but yeah Slick is one of those things that most people can't get a command of. Pretty nice there, actually. Just using the rockets to get down as fast as possible. Then up on the bounce pad. Not bad. Ooh, clips that. Probably actually helped. Sent a pretty good straight down. And that ain't a bad rocket for just a standard get it into the finish. That is 
a solid, solid run. You think that is, I mean, that's 220, so that's just outside your top half. About four or five places outside your top half. Next up, we have EOF OP3 with a time of 40.27. This came in at 57th, so we're halving that position again. We've gone from top half, just outside the top half, to just outside the top quarter of players. And so, yeah, see, see where things oh, change the number. See where things can be improved here, because like we saw that run before, you can see where things aren't perfect you know there's not a whole lot of strafing going on but that is what most people are doing you know when you see random people join the server that's mostly what they're doing not a whole lot of strafing but the general route you know the overall route it was there it was there and so it's just kind of exact actuation of all the things what server was this on this was on the russian server so i'm gonna say ping was probably not great at the time that's not bad ping. China to China to Russia for 50 ping. Take it. <laughs> it's not bad. It's what I get to France. Ah, yes. A tactic I did see a lot of people taking. Um, just a consistent way to get up, you know. No need to double stack. Just get onto there. Gets you more. That was a really nice, that very, very end. Really nice and clean. I wasn't getting them. Anywhere near that clean outside of like my absolute best runs. Next up, we have that was the Asian. Um, what's the Asian continental top? Next up, we have the South American continental top, Mr. Dez. The man, the list, the legend, the ancient guardian of the XDF server. Let's see what strategy. So this is 44th overall. And we're pretty much the same out of the starting gate. I think we've just got some extra, little bit extra speed. Using that slick quite nicely. It'll be interesting to see how much we see that get used because it could end up being a, a spacing thing whether you get any use out of that slick or whether you're literally just landing on it to jump off of it almost as if it's not slick nice double rocket stack straight up to the slick no need for anything else that was quite a nice tactic to bounce off of that yeah it's a good run it is a good run and now we're heading to the true top 20. We have cans with a 37.42. I can tell you, by the way, the first slow start, your first split was a one was 18.66. The fastest first split in the top 20 is 18.4 by night and by source first split I was about to say first split is super tight there is nothing in it for first split or second <laughs> so yeah here we go we've got cans on the go nice bit of slick yeah we've just uh, halved again. We've basically halved, halved, jumped up 10, then halved to get through our Continental Champions. It's a nice route. It's just pretty much the same, just slightly better execution on uh, what Desi's route was. Now's where I think we're going to see the real innovation. Really nice, getting a lot of speed and then going for this smooth route through very very nice time very very nice time it's difficult on these ones when you're watching them this way 
it's why last week I went back to the 20th place uh, after we'd finished because it's it's difficult to see where people are gaining the time you know so yeah we've now got trauma queen up gonna be taking a swing at this one you can just you kind of there's just about des and cans just about to hit that uh, 1700 as they jumped off so it's just a tiny bit faster Nice use of the wall to get lower there. You want to get lower on that bounce pad. The thing I've been told to look out for, number one, is people going diagonally at the spawn to be as fast as they can, obviously trying to get as much pre-run as possible, um, but also to set their spacing up properly. Number two, low air time. You want to get back on that slick to be gaining speed as fast as you possibly can. So that's the two most important parts. Next up, we have nature. Obviously, they're the two most important small parts. Major root and uh, getting an extra rocket in could be something that we're seeing. I do have a feeling that we won't see many more rockets. I think we're mostly just going to see differently placed rockets. Because the faster you go, the less time you've actually got to get the rockets out. And I know a few people were saying that you've got more rockets than time uh, which good for newer players good for practicing again and again ah uh, yeah going fast enough to be able to make it over there without taking the side ramps again that's gonna be another thing that's probably gonna come down to spacing I would think but there's a few spots with this with slick that you can adjust your spacing on the slick <laughs> that nearly didn't look like he was going to catch that rocket right at the end there. Nice run from nature. You could see both of the players we've just watched pretty much looking to the wall to try and hit that wall rocket. Um, yeah. On to now Rainbow Shadow. The wall rocket for Slick, yeah, it was a difficult one to get. I was just going higher. Yeah, this one, if you're coming out 2-3, you'll be fine. But I think if you're going, by the looks of things, if you're going 2-4, and we could even see people going 2-5, that they're just going to be done for. Ah, uh, here's a different... Okay, that's a really interesting route, getting super fast over to the, um, to the bounce pad. The main thing with the bounce pad is that it takes your speed away from you, your horizontal speed, resets you to zero. But obviously, you just go straight up, hit a really nice wall rocket. Boom. You got your, got your horizontal speed back. Next up, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Jay Height. He went for slick last time. He's got no choice but to go for slick this time. He has been the best prepared slicker coming into this round. Out of our last top 20, at least. Let's see how he manages to take it. Bit of a sneak preview into the route that he's going to be taking, I think, there. Not bad. Actually, quite a lot slower off of that, but gets a much better down ramp. I think there is... Good, there, well, there definitely is, because I was doing it. There's going to be a point where you get too much speed off the slick, and then you start having to jump before you've used the whole of the slick. Uh, right at the start. And then... You kind of... Adjusting things for spacing, and potentially going, you know... There is a speed limit on it. But at the same time, it always is one of those things where potentially that's where you see... Um, that's where you see minus one jumps coming into the picture. Very nice run from Jay Height though. He was... Uh, yeah, that, that was one of the... Kind of... That was one of the ends... 
the rocket down something that I saw it was very rare to see rockets on that point of the wall because I have infinite decals on so yeah it was very rare to see rockets on that point of the wall next up we have Procky with a 37.00 Here we go. Yep, missing that ramp. That was a... I think everyone was doing that. Although I did hear some people saying they were going to go for like that down ramp skip. Which I'll be interested to see how that down ramp skip works. There was enough people that mentioned it that I don't think it was a troll. So, yeah. that. I mean, you'd, you'd have to be very confident in your speed because you're not skipping that much of the map, I wouldn't have thought. But we'll see how it comes out. Nice through there. That last that last little platform of slick um, before you go through the teleporter into the rockets. Oh, nice. Nice one there. Yeah, that last little room of slick, it seemed to be... You could get like an extra 200 speed, but because you can only carry a maximum of 600 through the teleporter, you might as well just go straight. Like, get the, the fastest thing. But yeah, that was an... That was the same run as J-Height, but done six hundredths of a second faster. Next up, we have the first sub 37 second time with Gibbs getting a 96. Here we go. Yeah, it's, I mean, this run, there's so many different things. Like, I can look at the... Let's have a look while well, this one's loading. Let's have a look at the times. So, they're... So, Gibbs... Oh, no, no. Gibbs is tenth of a second faster, but Procky and J-Height... I'm actually just going to pause this. Procky and J-Height have the exact same split number one. J-Height is a tenth back on split number two. Regains this tenth on split number three... Loses a tenth split number four. And loses... So it's literally... Like, back and forth. Each split is... Gains about a tenth. Loses about a tenth. And it just so happens that J-Height only gains back... Nine hundredths there. When gaining ten hundredths there. Uh, sorry. Loses ten hundredths on split four. Gains ten on split five. But yeah, exactly the same on the first split. It's it's very, very, very close. Let's uh, throw it to the screen. So yeah, you can see here, if we zoom in, we have these two. Oh, that's the wrong way around. Oh, shit. I'm not good at this. So yeah. Exactly the same first split. Then losing J height on the bottom. J height losing a ninth of a second, a nine hundredth of a second there. Gaining seven there. Loses ten. Gains nine. It's literally that. That is where your six hundred comes from. It's one hundredths of a second and three hundredths of a second. You know, a couple of those, and that's that's the difference. Really, really incredibly close. Uh, we do have a one thousandth of a second difference, don't we? Where is that one? Not a one thousandth, sorry. A one hundredth of a second difference. A two hundredth of a second coming up in a minute. Somewhere I'm sure there was a one hundredth. Yes, there is. Dex and Freud coming up later. Anyway, yeah. Let's go into this run from... Uh, swap back over to that. Go into this room from Gibbs. Thirty six point nine nine, so about to shave point three of a second off of the time. Interesting reroute there for not landing on the slick and not landing immediately. Most people have seemingly done that for their spacing. 
Very interesting. Actually getting the space up. Double jump and rocket and then nicely smooth around. Still, I, I'm now happy I didn't go for the wall hit. Because it seems to be a very difficult hit to make. If no one so far has gone for it. But super clean there. That little bit just before the main slick came out with actually quite a lot of um, quite a lot of speed. Riffo, he said he was going to quit the entire week, but 14th he goes. Is he going the other side of that post, or did he just fuck up there? Here we go. 6:19 start speed. I have those stats actually. No, I think he fucked up. I think he got a bad fling off of the uh, slick, probably. Very good speed there. Oh, managing to first person, I think we've seen managing to keep the uh, keep the strafe going over that gap, and then you know smoothly transition out of it. Very nice. Double rocket stack. There it is. That's what we were looking for. Exactly the same end as pretty much everyone else. Uh, just that down and back up to the slick. Using that double rocket stack on the wall. That's, uh... I mean, to me, that looked clean. Riffo's putting yuck in the, in the chat, but... That was... That was a very, very nice end. But yeah, as people have said, like, what are the stats for this one? Let's have a look. So, Riffo. Yeah, look at that. Oh, no. No. Lose it. So, the first the first number is split number two. Then there's the space, and then that's the time after. So, this is 8.56. So, 8.56 seconds. So, yeah, a little bit slow on the first. Whatever. Everyone's so consistent on this first, first split. There's nothing in it. Not worth looking at, really. Except for J-Heights. Because um, that was so close. Yeah, then you've got... Little... Yeah, there's a chunk slower on split number three. Chunk slower on split number three. Mm. Slower than the other two, but faster than uh, next up. So that's... And then just a ridiculous end. I mean, that's... The end time... Ah, the end time's just coming down after this. That's pretty much it. I mean, look, hold on. Look at this end time jump. Half a second. Third of a second. Second of a second. Half a second. Oh, it's going to get good. Oh, it's going to get good. Back over to the game. Who have we got up next? We have got Furious in 36.82 land. It's bot time. So it looks like going for the same route as we just saw. Very nice start there. That was a super nice start. Again, we're seeing like a maximum speed you can reach on the um, on the first slick. You know, there's no point going higher than that. A little bit slow coming through here, having to do that kind of wall run bit. Yeah. So. Minus. So, plus 42 coming into here. Super nice finish. Oh, that was just. That was the shortest possible route you could take to the finish i think that's one of the main things it was glancing every wall pretty much once the rockets went down not much of a shorter route you could take unless you had no clip quasar up next very fun name to say that quasar oh yeah Good point, Des. The hole in one route. I think we might see that soon. Looking up that uh, final split, that half half a second. Late into the grind, this one. Late into the grind. Obviously, we only see one record at a time, so it could be 
That's the same way Riffo's run started, with the bonk over there. Oh, that's actually the route we wanted to... Okay, so that's the skip that people wanted to do. That's really interesting. Hold on, I want to... Hold on, I want to re replay this. I want to re... Are oh, you alternated, Riffo? Okay. I thought you fucked up when you came off the slick. Well, I thought you just kind of got, got spat out. Because that's where I ended up if I got spat out from the slick. Like, did it badly, jumped too early, whatever. I want to see, what's the difference? So what split are we actually looking at here? Looking at first split or second split? Because first split, it's five hundredths of a second faster than Ferris. I think we're looking really at second split. Yeah, we're looking, I've, yeah. I can, I can see the times right now. We're looking at second split. So yeah, you come through here and it's going to be about the same. And then... You're lots less speed, but you're only a hundred less speed at that point. You're only a hundred less speed at that point. Obviously, Riffo had a shit start, and so did um, Farius. Now you're even on speed, really. Once you've come around there, you have to go down to a certain speed to get around the corner. So, yeah, we're going to... Uh, ooh, just gets up with the step up. Cleanly round the end, and nicely into the finish. Very, very nice time. But, yeah... That is eight tenths of a second faster than Farius on split number two. Seven tenths faster than Ed. It's the fast. It is da, 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 fourth fastest split number two. Yeah, it's you get a shorter route. But that looks absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, yeah. as soon as you have to hit that velocity pad in, in that turn, your max speed is 2,000 that you can actually get. You can make that kind of route. So yeah, it ain't bad. And you make quite a lot of the speed back up, like we saw on that uh, slick pad, the little one, the tiny little one uh, for spacing. You make it back up there because you can actually hit it and gain speed out of it. So 36.68 from Ed. Here we go. Up next. Ed, back to the regular route by the looks of things. Unless he's alternating as well. Is that a fake dizzy? Nicely across. And then, yeah, we see coming down to 2000. Ooh, that was super nice, Teddy. I think he ran out of mouse pad there, though. By the looks of things, look very much like an adjustment of mouse. Interesting way to get that double stack, actually. That's one less rocket than we've seen most people do. Really clean through there. Very nicely across the line. I don't think it's a fake dizzy because that route was faster. That run was very fast. It's a good run. But unfortunately, I'm going to gloss over it a little bit because we have a big jump in speed up to super. When did Ed start playing? Like, that's. I'm pretty sure Ed started halfway through that map. We've had, for anyone who's unaware, we had um, a lot of new players into Zenotic from Quake 3. Of course, missing their Defrag World Cup this year at the minute. It's gone missing. Someone's lost it. I'm sure they'll find it again. But yeah, over here for a bit of, a bit of resurgence. Yeah, that one, like I said, splits. You're going to see it. Jump in uh, straight across, not needing that bit of slick. So that that other route we saw, the the faster start with this with the uh, with the drop skip, ramp skip.
nice end. Not quite as nice as Ed's, I'm going to say, but it was a cleaner start. That kind of, I think the key point was the middle. After we crossed and hit the velocity pad 180, I think that bit to the teleporter, super was faster. If, why am I even guessing these things? Yes, I'm correct. <laughs> That's where the time came from. Uh, Ed's end was pretty much equal. Oh no, Ed's end was half a second slower. What? I'm surprised by that. Ed's end was half a second slower. Um, there was a good chunk taken out in sector four. Yeah, Super just didn't lose any time to Ed in that run directly. Just a little bit added up. 0.3 here. 0.5 there. Yeah. Right. X then. Actually, I just want to go... One second before we do this. To, to just, like, add to what... Because I, I hope that people who don't play Zonotic are watching this and are getting interested in Zonotic. Also getting interested in defrag in general, because I think it's incredible. I hope that, you know, people who are watching this... I hope that a load of our guys from Zonotic go over to the defrag world champs when that one happens in Quake 3. However... This next one, I'm going to change... Oh, no, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to this screen. So this is the VQ3, and there's Dex from 2021. And the thing is, VQ3 is a completely different mode. You don't have that air control. You can't AD turn like you can in Zenotic. It's such a different mode. And in fact, uh, da -da -da, history... 2021, Dex in second. Dex on it. Dex. 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 Don't think Dex was playing. Yeah. Dex is a very, very well renowned guy who picked up Synotic at the end of round one. Yeah, basically, I'm saying this guy could probably beat us with his hands and legs type. But this was what I was saying last year. I was saying people need to come across and just see how good Dizzy is. We're not all shit. We just have got one good player. But yeah. Let's see what the VQ3 gods can do to uh, to our game. But yeah, it's a very, very small community. Um, Defrag, realistically. You know, I was randomly on Steam charts earlier, and Counter-Strike is got 1.4 million people playing right now, Counter-Strike 2. Um, even TF2 has 70,000 people. Pretty sure Zonotic's got like 18. <laughs> and they're all on XD <laughs> XDWC at the minute. Oh, that was nice. That end really clean there, knocking off of the wall to get... Because we saw a couple of people struggling to get the rocket back up into the hole, into the finish. Because they were going to kind of run the whole wall and then you're going to skip over the actual finish sort of box, the whole finish box. Yeah, it was a bit of a head bump there. But yeah, a nice, very nice run for our master. Oh, that's a bigger jump than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we're now going from 8-5. So that... Oh, no. 8-5. Eight, eight, Sorry. I got the wrong one. So we're now going one hundredth of a second between Dex and Freud. The one after this is six hundredths of a second. Sorry, no, six tenths of a second. Sorry, I'm very ill and can't focus right now. Is that not how you pronounce that? Freud?
Good. Fried. Okay. We'll go with fried. I'm British and I have a cold. Someone needs to tell me how to pronounce things. Fried is worse? Okay. We'll go with Freud then. I'm kind of going for like Noid. Like Annoyed. And then Freud. With that OI. Nice. Oh wow. Real massive wiggly strafe there. Freud from um, Warsaw. Freud a Warsaw player. I believe. Hopefully I'm not fucking that up. But yeah, the early the early slick rocket and the do 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 wiggle. Fra. Right. Twenty nine, no two nine. There we go. So we are on five point uh, five point five four seconds. There we go. Maths hard. Point five four seconds of skip. We go on to source. Can do that one. Nice little start there, moving out to be able to come back in and still get the um, speed. I am surprised we haven't seen more people do that start bit, especially since, like we said, you kind of, you are back. But Riffo, if you were going back and forth between doing it, what what was your success rate like on both methods? Ooh. So I was in chat when Source set that record. He said that it was a disastrous end, and I can entirely see it. But it was fast. That's the thing. It was, yeah, you can see the panic in the cursor movements and in the strafe. And you're like, he's, he's panicking. But he also, you can also tell that the, there's two parts of his brain fighting. The part that's played defrag for thousands of hours really, really knows what he's doing. And the other part that goes, you're going to hit that wall. <laughs> you need to do something. And it's like just about the part that knew that just flying straight would work. Took over and kept him in a straight line straight through to the finish. It's a damn good job too, because that was um on Freud, yep. That was an impeccable all of that time was made in the end. Yeah. It's very difficult to read these CP times. But yeah, really good run. So, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, there may have also been the brain that was going for a skim. That is possible. Another fairly big jump to get into uh, into Frosty's run. Here he is enjoying the sauna. Very nice start with 644. Nice spacing. <laughs> Super low. That's. He didn't lose speed, and he gained speed. I think that's the first time we've seen someone not lose speed, other than the actual wall hit. Then that's a beautiful, that's so fast with the extra rocket just managing to squeeze it in there. Absolutely beautiful end there. 
absolutely gorgeous. What a run. We're breaking quite the barrier here because Knight is going to take us. Sitting in fourth place, Knight is going to take us into the 34 second times. When people started hitting 34 second times, we thought they were absolutely incredible. And that 34? What do you mean 34 on this map? That's bonkers. But we'll see how far this map gets pushed. But this this is the thing. Oh, that's such a good strafer. Knight is such a good strafer. Knight's going for the skip, isn't he? Yeah. So Knight's gone for, not only gone for the skip, he's also missed a down ramp. He's just gone for strafe so hard. Like, this is what I spoke about earlier with some of the top guys going for minus one jump stuff. Knight's just... Just gone out of it. 1570, is that what he left the slick with? Because again, first checkpoint... Oh no, Knight does have... Knight and Source have the joint fastest first checkpoint at 8.4 seconds. Delta's got 8.43. And they actually get slower from there. Uh, to the top. Yeah, let's slow down that first one. This is wrong, isn't it? Uh... No, no. It did save. Look at that. Doop. Doomph. Madness. Absolute madness. Just so clean through there. And then here, actually coming out of this, I think Knight's going to have... Yeah. Guy's got as much speed as anyone else once he hits this point. Right. That point... Just watch the beauty of that turn. 19.74 he hits this second checkpoint. Uh, Sauna Frosty was 20.25 at that second checkpoint that he's just gone through. Massive difference. Really nicely through. No time even to slick. But that, it, the end is still still going down. Knight did say the hole in one. I think he said was about a 1 in 500 chance. <laughs> for a hole in one. So. No wonder he didn't go for it. We jump now. Delta. A 5-3. So this run, just taking a quick look at the splits, loses time at the start and gains time at the end. Here we go. <laughs> the end was really good. Like, compared, looking at the times compared to everyone else, it's very consistent with everyone else, you know. It's, it's only the guys ahead of you and a couple of nuts times with ridiculous ends uh, that had like bad starts outside of the top 20 so he's going straight in yeah there we go that's where the time time save is where was he behind two so third of a second behind at split one these aren't each from split one to split two end of split one to end of split two these are like total time so behind behind 
behind at split three. At split four, bearing in mind that there's a 0.25 second improvement in the overall, at split four, Delta was behind Knight by 0.25 of a second. So Knight, Delta gained half a second in the end. Like bang on half a second in the end. And I think, yeah, Knight, as Knight just said, it is bang on. It is just straight in that wall rocket right at the end. Straight into the finish. But looking at the times ahead, they're even faster than that end. The net, the top two, that's third. That's third overall, by the way, Delta. Congratulations, you podium. Next up, we have... Um, if you haven't been paying attention, let's just bring this up. Because this next moment is a big deal in Xenotic Defrag. If we go... To we go to this screen. So this is our regular season, you know. If we go to the player ratings, ignore that one. Dizzy for a very long time. Only Mac Mac really ever took it, but for a very long time, Dizzy has been first place on the RR server on the reg in regular season, regular maps. Dizzy's record history looks like this. That's worrying. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hardcore's like longer torture maps and stuff like that. And some weird maps that aren't actually that hard, but some things end up on there. Yeah, so Missy's round two here. Third here, second, 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 and the one that's missing, second. Less than one second, ignore this one because the round's still currently going on. Less than one second of total time, including what he's lost in this round that we're about to watch. Dizzy losing a round is rare, but these guys have come across not only in round one, these, defra these Quake 3 players, they've pushed Dizzy. They made him work for his record. Because last year, he set a record in half an hour that stood till the end of the week. Right? So it's a big deal to see Dizzy get knocked down. It's a big deal just to see him have to work for this. But here's the run, which we thought was incredible. You know, this was an absolutely mad run. When Dizzy sat this. I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. And over to Dizzy. Yeah. So less... Less than a second lost, including on this run. So Dizzy is... Dizzy is our top champion. I mean, he's had an eighth place in a strafe map on Defrag World Cup. He is going for that first cut, as we expected from looking at the split times. I'm going to take it super clean there. Yeah, Dizzy's, Dizzy just crouches a lot on Slick. It, to be fair, Dizzy crouches a lot all the time. Um, I think he's a, quite, he's a CTFer. At some point, because everyone does that in CTF. Let's watch that again. Let's watch the Synotic Defrag. Certified greatest of all time, I think. And slow down a couple of bits. So for starters, yeah, it didn't need to be that slow. We're going to start off with 653, which is the fastest so far start speed we've seen we are going to hit this we're going to come wide a little bit of speed loss but not too much then we're going to get what are we going to get across here two-way wiggle which is going to leave us with almost 2000 speed once we get across to the bounce pad 
Mad. So full. Hits that. No speed lost once taking that corner. Super clean. Gets 2,700 through there. Even though he goes the fastest route to the line. Now we see the crouching. Which underneath that, fair enough. You do want to be crouching through there. Wall. Straight in. You what? Now we need to change the seconds. 33.99. Absolutely mad. Um, we're just going to watch this. We're just going to watch... I thought I'd slow-mo on then. We're just going to watch this because... It's incredible. The start speed was exactly the same, by the way. Uh, the official start speed, according to the splits page I've got, is um, point two faster, I think. Point two, point three faster, Goblin was. So not enough to actually show. Very nicely through there. Very clean. Rocket around. Very nice. Gets the wall rocket. Gets through there and gains speed off of that wall rocket on the end. It's fast. It's fast. Let's watch it in slow motion and have a look at the split. So the first split. Bear in mind that these are the cumulative times and whatnot. Dizzy is behind on the first split by 0 0.03. Three hundredths of a second. Split number two is 19.38. I'm not selected on the right screen. Hitting here, right at the bottom. So that's going to give you the best chance. You are going to land as soon as possible because you always gain the same amount of height from that velocity pad. Depending on, so the lower you hit it, the sooner you land. But 19.38 is incredible. Straight through there, back on the gas. By the way, we're still at a tenth speed here. We're, yeah, we're still at 10% speed. Oh no, we're at half. This is a tenth, sorry. Yeah, that was half speed. Coming through here. I didn't even notice that he flicked fully backwards. I thought he just, that's, it was that fast. That's got to be the last pixel to hit there. And then boom. 33.99. The sub is real. And the speed times. So 0.3 there. Gains a big chunk there. But Dizzy comes back there and somehow... Has a faster segment four. But then, yeah, does lose it in the end. In the final uh, final split. But segment four. Brings it back. Mad. Let's watch. Oh, not 09. 05, there it is. So you notice the rocket animate inside the rocket launcher model. Yeah, it does that. So this one is Dizzy's run. Back onto Dizzy. Whoopsie, no, not that button. Does he hit the wall here? Yes. Tiny little wall hit, but gets you straightened up. Just... Everywhere is ducking for Dizzy. Just, like... How close can you get your head to everything? It's 
So it seems to me like Knight's run was the only one where he dared get absolute maximum speed off of the slick. Um, everybody else wanted to get the uh, the landing on the ramp, but judging by the split times, it's difficult to tell because so few people actually went for that split, uh, went for that first skip. But judging by the split times, it was faster. It was faster by by the split times. Goblin does have the fastest split two time by 0.4 of a second, but he also did some extra stuff. Yeah, the only other 30 seconds are 133 seconds. But yeah, Knight, I would say probably if you had like a split two and a half. Would have been fastest at split two and a half. He just ripped out of here, went as fast. You can see Goblin kind of wiggling to make it. And then Knight was... Uh, Knight was about 50 speed behind where Goblin is right now. Over that bit there. Knight then loses a bit of speed after this and hits the wall a bit harder, I think. Uh, which loses him... Yeah, 0.4 of a second on the on the second split. Or the, up to the second split, but Knight also has the fastest first split. Oomph. Absolutely incredible runs. And it's going to be interesting to see where we go now. Because we have a battle on our hands. We have a true battle. Because although we can see that... Uh, there we go. We can see that there's definitely some competition for Dizzy. But... What are the next maps going to be? Do we know if... You know... Is Goblin going to be able to form on this map? Because Knight is still up there. Knight's been consistent. You know, fourth... And a third. Uh, fourth and a fourth. Gives you a third. Dizzy is still just ahead. There was one point. I did log on. At one point during last week. And I noticed that there was... Half... Of a point between Dizzy and Goblin. It literally came down to who had the better rounding. Was who uh, who got it. But it's setting up to be a good fight because 100 points isn't too much to ask. You know, if, if Dizzy and Goblin can get another... Another 1-2 on their side. They've run away with it. In this round that's coming up. But. I'd say you're probably up to top. Yeah, let's call it there. There's a big jump to there. That's all within reach, I think. But it depends on the maps. Depends on the maps. Depends how Dizzy can play. Depends how Goblin can play. Depends who else comes in. Could absolutely show Knight again. Yeah, I should, yeah, let's, uh, what time is night? Night. Seven, eight. Yeah, so this is the only run, it's ballsy enough. This is your fastest split two and a half run. Or one and a half. Only reason it's, uh, I say that is because Goblin effectively in the second half of split two but in the second half of split one look at that strafing in fact i'm gonna restart this run because i want to slow-mo that i want to show people just how close you need to get to the edge of that green bar like it's it's 
just... We're still gaining max speed, literally hitting the edge of the green bar. You see, the, oh, I can't show my mouse. The little yellow thing that's going blue, just right on the edge. That is maximum acceleration possible, right there. Then to hit this, that's got to be the first pixel of slick possible. And then boom, out of there, 570. Absolutely wreck it down here. Takes good speed. Decides to not go super wide as well. So coming down here. And now when Goblin exited this ramp. He was on 2000 something. But it was in the 2000. It wasn't in the 2100s. So less than 100 speed at this point. The difference then comes here I think. Goblin is very much still strafing into this point. And I think Goblin came through here at 2,250. And then here, loses a lot more speed. Goblin, on that hit, when he hit the um, the bounce pad, was uh, still over 2,000. But yeah, hitting that surf. Absolutely mad. And then let's compare that to 33.99. It is incredible these maps like are that good that we can say, you know, you could go that much faster if you could put all this together. But the chances, like, the numbers I've seen thrown around for like hole in ones and stuff like that has been. So yeah, we're coming out here. Let's see. When do we actually get to? So now that when when Goblin hits that uh, that down ramp, that's when he gets to the speed that Knight exited the slick with. Comes around here, same speed, and then yeah, just a, only a tiny, tiny bit more actually, only ten. Then just gets that that stuff. Probably gave. What are we saying? So guys, saying about yeah, about fifty, about fifty speed. Really nice, I think. Just super clean. The Wiggly Slick is incredible. Like, I was just kind of flicking for me life. <laughs> and hoping. And just... Chaotic end right there. Straight through. Let's have Knight's Run. All the way through. Seven. Actually, let's go top five. Let's go... Uh, 34... Point two nine. Oh no, that's wrong. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got the wrong screen open. Thirty-five five one zero. So watch top five again. Just straight through, back to back to back. No kind of back and forth between them. And so let's see at full speed. Can we spot the difference? Still going for the full speed. But yeah, only a, only 100 speed less than after the bounce ramp. Nothing, because you can't gain any speed after that. So, really only about 50... Uh, only about 50 speed for half a second, maybe? A very nice end. Very clean, very fast. Next up, we're into... Knight's Run. The full run. Yeah, once we've once we watch Dizzy's run, I'm gonna go back to uh, go back to Rainbow Shadows. Yeah, does I think you're right. And we'll give that one a go just to see the difference. Once we watch Dizzy's, and then we'll go into Goblins after. It's very difficult to see the differences at full speed because you can sort of see things. But, not massively. 
I did enjoy that slick. I was u actually having to use it to set up my spacing. And I was just kind of carefully finding how much... Not slick, sorry. Um, surf. I was loving how much you could get. That's, that was such a such a rushed end as well from Knight there. Same as uh, Source had in 6th position. That sort of... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I've got it in. It's fine. Next up, got... Would help if I went onto the right screen that had all the information on it. Most popular server in the top 20. XCWC France, I think. Oh no, DA just edges by one on a second count. It was actually quite interesting, considering we saw how much more DE was used than France in, uh, in last week's at least. The speed of wood is actually apparently going to be a real thing for this. For this next map. Rolling around now. Tizza. Goblin start, Delta's end is a 33.8. Is that fastest split? I wish we had the splits in the other format, in the, like, from end of last split to start of next split format. Because then we could actually do some of best splits. Would be interesting. Very nicely through. Yeah, now let's go back. Rainbow Shadow is the pick. Am I even going to be able to get back through the pit? To it before, yeah, there we go. So, Rainbow's run coming across to be able to get the speed uh, and the spacing to be able to hit that, coming with really good speed like incredible speed coming out of there. Actually, much faster speed, but probably way longer. Really nice route, very consistent that uh, way of getting down there to get good spacing. Not going the most direct route on that slick. Yeah, taking that bounce pad. Massive difference in the way that you have to play it. But after the bounce pad, once you hit the slick, completely the same sort of strategies we're seeing right at the top. All very much in the fine details. The last up, we have the winner. Goblin. Super clean strafes as well. That is the thing I think, as J Hype pointed out. <sighs> Such a good slick section there. Goblin actually having the best strafe section. And Dizzy pulling back a little bit on the rockets. This bit that was super tight on, that very, very final section, pretty much that was it. Just the very last into the finish. Incredible, incredible plays from everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for setting a time. 
It's been incredible. The, uh, yeah, the amount of players we've had, 222 on this round. Hopefully we'll get some pretty good um, player numbers. The next map is pretty hard. Uh, but, yeah, if you're watching this, you owe it to yourself. If you're still here, if you're on the YouTube, if you're on the Twitch, whatever, you owe it to yourself. Join one of these servers. Get yourself in game. Get yourself down here. We got rockets. You know. We got some really nice play. The map looks absolutely stunning. It's just a big climbing maze all the way up there. Into that box up there. Which is your finish. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next week. Enjoy your playing. Strafe hard. Rock it hard. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Congratulations once again to Gobbling. This battle's going to be really good. <laughs> it's going to be an incredible battle.